question number nine goes over box plots. And we have a view of side-by-side -side box plots, which is something you might have done on your project. So we have males and females and how long they spent in the shower. Males and females is categorical, and how long they spent in the shower is quantitative. So let's look at the male shower times here and see what would best describe this distribution. Now, box plots don't give us the best view of what is going on with the data, but we do notice one thing. There are outliers in the male distribution. You'll also notice that from the median to Q3 is further than the median to Q1. And just looking here from the median to the max is a much longer distance. So the distribution is pulled out towards the high side. This means it is skewed to the right. So this distribution here has a little bit of a right skew from what we can see, but a better way to view it would be with a histogram or a stem and leaf plot. Both a histogram and a stem and leaf plot are quantitative visual displays. A stem and leaf, histogram, and a box plot are your univariate quantitative displays of data. The next question asks us to approximate the range for female shower times. Now going back up to here, a lot of people make a mistake. They forget to include the outliers. So we need to remember that the highest shower time is 60 minutes. And this is average shower time, I believe. So 60 minutes on average is quite a long time and definitely an outlier. Now the lowest point, it's hard to tell exactly where it is at, but it's probably around three. We can see that it's below five for females and above zero. So with that in mind, the minimum is three and the maximum is 60. The formula for the range is max minus min, so 60 minus 3 is 57. And so the range of shower times for females is 57 minutes. Next, which group has a higher median shower time? Now in box plots, the median is going to be the line through the middle. So let's go ahead and take a look right here. Pretty easy to see that the median shower time is higher for females. And this is just because the line through the middle of the box plot is higher. Going through the box plot, we have the five number summary. The min is the lowest point. Q1 is the 25th percentile. Median is the line, which is the 50th percentile. The line right here, the end of the box plot is Q3, which is the 75th percentile. And then we have the maximum, which is the highest point. The whiskers on the box plot just denote the end of normal data, which could be the min or could be the max. But in our instance right here, the max is not the end of the whisker. So the whisker would go 1.5 IQRs above Q3 at the maximum distance and 1.5 IQRs below Q1. And you might say, why does this one not go as far? It's because there's no data. The whisker will stop when there's no data. It can go as far as 1.5 IQRs above Q3 and as far as 1.5 IQRs below Q1, but it won't go beyond where there is any data. The next question asks us to find 75% of males showered less than what amount of time? Now to find this, we need to find Q3. Q3 will be the 75th percentile for males. And Q3 for males is right about at 15. So as you can see, as we trace the line over, around 15 minutes is the 75th percentile. So 75% of guys shower on average 15 minutes or less daily. The final question asks us to figure out the IQR for females. To figure out the IQR, we need to find the distance between Q1 and Q3. Now looking at the box plot for females, the IQR is the box of the box plot. Going from Q1 to Q3, we have a distance from 10 to 20. So the equation would be 20 minus 10, which equals to 10. And you can see that visually here, that the IQR for females is 10.